My house is haunted. In this world, there are those who haunt and those who are haunted. Ghost neurologist Todd Jalapeno is on a mission to exercise every gift from the home of every American afflicted by poltergeist activity. Hello everybody and welcome to another episode of Ah! My House is Haunted! And in this episode we're going to be exploring the ghost of Archibald Glorp in its mysterious manner. This house was actually constructed in Victorian England by uh, Archibald's orders himself. Now Archibald was actually a famous magistrate uh, most well known for his construction of rubber tires and car batteries in Victorian England. <laughs> he was not very popular for his time ahead of the curve. This should be, the owner should be here now so we can perform the exorcism and let Archibald rest in peace. Hey, are you Mr. McCoy? What's my first name? Uh... It's, uh, it was on the business email. You are Mr. McCoy. It's Flem. I'm Flem McCoy. Flem? Come on in. You must be the ghost of uh, Ghost, uh, misogynist. Oh. It's the proper title. So, Mr. McCoy, you claim your house is being haunted by the late Archibald Glorp? Yep. Care to elaborate? Oh, yeah. Well, you see, it all started about three moons ago. While I was relaxing in my in my study, I noticed an odd occurrence when my Xbox powered itself on. Now, this wouldn't be an unusual circumstance, but um, I did not have the controller near me to accidentally turn it on per se. And uh, again, I found I found it strange when um, it began playing itself. You see. And, uh, what game was it playing? Why, it was playing NBA 2K24. I got an early copy. Hmm. Uh, it seems EA makes your games in reserves now. Was there any other symptoms of a haunting? Well, you know, every once in a while I would notice the salt shaker fly across the room, but I didn't really think much of it until I saw, um, paranormal activity. Then I thought, you know, maybe that ain't so normal. Uh, that's why they call it the paranormal. Well, according to my book here, Exorcisms for Dummies, it looks like you have what we call a level one ghost or a spook. Uh, this is a pretty open and shut case. It's real easy to take care of because I'm a, well, a licensed ghost psychiatrist. I see. So, uh, you mind showing me where the paranormal activity has been taking place? Yeah, I can take you. Come on. So here we are in the center of the manor where Mr. McCoy has claimed where the majority of the activity is going on. Now, uh, due to these symptoms of the haunted, we have, uh, <clears throat> by Ghost Manuel, know that he is a level one spook. And the first step is to convince he's Canadian. And with the help of my patented ghost conduit, this should be a very easy task. Now my patented ghost conduit is a very sophisticated machine able to detect electro quantum mechanic radiation signatures in the fifth realm uh, seventh science. So essentially when there's a ghost around, all these scientific wavy things will start to go awry. Archibald Glorp, are you there? Can you hear me today? Oh, look at that. We got a lot of readings here today. I think we got a real life ghost around here. Archibald. If you can hear this, you are Canadian. You were born in Canada and you are raised on uh, Canadian bacon and maple syrup as all great Canadians once were. So, according, you did not fall for the Canadian propaganda. So, well, I've classified him as a level two 
specter, which means we have to scare him away with pictures of Ben Shapiro. Oh, in life, Archibald was a big fan of the microscopic creature known as a tardigrade, so I'm going to make a classic tardigrade sound and lure him, lure him in. Look, it's a ghost. A ghost. Look at the screen. It's Ben Shapiro. How do you feel about that? Yeah. He's not scared of big, big Ben Shapiro. But like elephants being scared of mice, he might be scared of tiny Ben Shapiro. Yeah. Oh no. He's not scared of big or mini Shapiro. This is a terrible news. We have to move on to classification three. Oh! Ah! Unfortunately, our attempts to use Ben Shapiro to scare Archibald from the manor have failed, leading me to have to classify him as a level three type ghost, a ghoul. And the only way to remove a ghoul, the highest level of any normal ghost, is to beat them in a rap battle. As a white man, this is the hardest part of my job, but I'm going to summon Archibald again in order to try to defeat him. Old school. Uh, here's Archibald now. I have to start rapping. Your, your sheets aren't even white. You're a fake-ass ghost. You look like you were born in the 1700s, which you were, which is accurate. This is my freestyle rap. I'm OG. I'm a boss. You look like something that should be tossed. All right, let's see. This is his turn to reciprocate. Let's see what he has. Bitch, I'm back out my coma. Waking up on your sofa. When I park my Range Rover. Slightly scratch your Corolla. Okay, I smash your Corolla. I'm hanging on a hangover. Five years we been over. Ask me why I came over. One more hit and I can on you. All right, folks, uh, me losing the rap battle can only mean one thing. It's not a ghost. It has to be the devil. Yeah, um, hey, I'm the devil. That's the first thing he said correct this entire time. I'm telling you right now, people, this guy does not know the first thing about ghost hunting. You, sir, you are a person of lower intelligence and an inept and an incompetent. And I think that you're an insult to all ghostographers on this dang earth. What What say you? I say get back, devil. Oh, back. Uh, uh, get out of here. Uh, uh, get out. Uh, oh, oh, oh. Get out of this house. Uh, uh, get out. Okay, okay. Back. Jesus, fine. Right, okay, go. Uh. Roadhouse. Anyway, fellas. That's going to have to wrap it up for this episode of Ah! My House is Haunted to the next episode where we pay a visit to uh, the next person who needs the house cleaned of ghosts.